When you're solving indefinite integrals, there are some deceptively simple situations that require the method of substitution. Let's take a look at an example. First of all, recall the power rule for antiderivatives. The integral of x to the n is 1 over n plus 1, x to the n plus 1 plus c. Now, I'm going to compare two integrals. This really simple integral, root x, and this slightly more complicated one, but still fairly simple, root 4x plus 3. <clears throat> now, when I integrate root x, I can just immediately convert that to a power of x and use the power rule from up here. The question is, can I do that? for root 4x four, four plus 3. I would get this answer, right? Just 2 thirds, 4x plus 3 to the 3 halves plus c. Just following the exact same pattern. Now, I want to check this answer by differentiation to see if it's correct. So let me take this answer and differentiate it. And I have 2 thirds, 4x plus 3 to the 3 halves plus c. Okay, the 2 thirds will come out in front, and then 4, 4x plus 3 to the 3 halves, the 3 halves will come out, and I have 4x plus 3 to the 1 half, right? This power minus 1. But I still have to multiply by 4, the derivative of the inside part. I have to use the chain rule. And of course, the derivative of the plus c is 0. Now, when I look at this, I get 2 thirds times 3 halves, this is just 1, but then I have a 4 here. 4 times the square root of 4x plus 3. Now let's take a look at what we started with. The integral of root 4x plus 3. We didn't have a 4 in front, so this method has not worked. In general, it's not going to work unless you have just a single variable raised to a power. Right? The fact that I have a 4x plus 3, this is not the same as x. I have to use the method of substitution in a case like this, even though it's a very simple integral. So, integral 2 requires substitution. Let's, uh, let's take a crack at it. So I have the integral of root 4x plus 3 dx. Remember, when I use the method of substitution, I look for a composite function. And this is a composite function. I want to substitute for the inside part. So w equals 4x plus 3. And I want to calculate a dw. So the dw is going to be 4 times dx. Now, I have a dx. I don't have a 4 times dx. So what I need to do is multiply both sides by 1 quarter. So a quarter dw is going to equal dx. And this is what I'm going to replace my dx with. 1 quarter dw. So I get the integral of the square root of w times 1 quarter dw. Now, I can switch this to w to the 1 half and pull the 1 quarter out in front. It's 1 quarter w to the 1 half dw. And now I can use the power rule. Here, I do have just a simple variable raised to a power. So it's 1 quarter. I have to raise the exponent by 1, so 1 half becomes 3 halves. And then dividing by 3 halves is the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. This gives me 1 sixth, right? The 2's cancel. I get a 1 half times 1 third, 1 sixth w to the 3 halves plus c. And the last thing to do is, sub is resubstitute for w. I need to put a 4x plus 3 in there, so this is. 1 6, sorry, 4x plus 3 to the 3 halves plus c. That's my final answer. Not exactly the same as the 2 thirds that I thought it was before. This is the correct answer. 1 6, 4x plus 3 to the 3 halves plus c.